you came from the band world, writing songs primarily for yourself. Then you were working with this one woman on an album with some of your songs co-written with her. Then you joined Taxi, you did your submissions, you got some returns, you went off and you did your homework basically to get things up to the right level. And in the process, you got um, no uh, no placements in any libraries or anything right. the first year. Correct. You got one the second year, but I know you've had other deals. Mm -hmm. uh, could you explain in terms of the taxi connection, even though they weren't directly from a taxi listing, how they happened? And you don't have sure. to name any names or whatever, just kind of explain the process okay. that occurred there. Um, I was at the rally last year, mm -hmm. which um, I highly recommend. I mean, that was just a huge, huge learning experience being there. I learned so much from there. And while I was there, I um, had a chance to meet a lady who is in the industry and gave her a CD. Mm -hmm. uh, about a month after that, followed up with her to see if she's had a chance to listen to it. She's like, yeah, I liked it. Um, I'm going to add you to my list of composers I send emails out to. So, you know, you can think of these as potential, you know, leads that are outside of taxi. I'm like, okay, that's kind of cool. So she'd send me emails every week, you know, a couple of, a couple of weeks or whatever. And uh, eventually there was one I was like, I've got stuff that, I think I could submit to this and so I submitted some songs to this listing and I uh, ended up it was a, I think it's like a Friday submitted Saturday I find out that they listened to them Sunday I got a contract offer for a non-exclusive deal it's through an MTV library mm -hmm. and the thing is all of the songs were songs that I had written for taxi listings interesting so I wasn't able to, you know some of them were, were forwards from taxi listings as well right and I was talking to them you know hey you know, could I submit you more material? And they're like, sure, you know, whatever you got. So uh, ended up writing five songs just for that library mm -hmm. and submitted them, and all of them ended up getting, I ended up signing 14 tracks with them. And then there was a, another person that I met through the taxi forums mm -hmm. that was like, hey, here's a, you know, an opportunity you might be interested in, and ended up getting another library deal, mm -hmm. you know, another non-exclusive through the same process. Right. So I think what I'm hearing is, uh, you have multiple avenues. You've got the actual taxi listings, mm -hmm. and they're the regular ones, plus mm -hmm. the dispatches, which we mm -hmm. haven't talked about yet. You've got the taxi road rally and all the people you meet there, yep. and you've also got the people in the taxi forums that you mm -hmm. interact with, and all those things have led in one way or another yep. to a deal for you yep. of some kind. Very interesting. Now, now I think you, you mentioned about writing a song for a listing or mm -hmm. writing a song mm -hmm. for a library. Uh, the, the general concept that most people have is I have a bunch of songs I've written. Now I'm going to take those songs, even if they think of them as commodities, mm -hmm. I'm going to take those commodities, I'm going to put them on the market and see who wants to buy them. Mm -hmm. It sounds to me like you do that, but you also go after, uh, like, sort of right to hire or, uh, you know, do things on the spot. How much of your process uh, involves that sort of thing? Um, Earlier, I'd say this year, I was probably writing to, on the spot a lot more frequently um, because I was trying to get my foot in the door. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, there was one example where um, an email from this person came through on a Wednesday, and they're like, hey, we're looking for you know this kind of song. It's a sound alike. They need to replace it in this TV commercial. Mm -hmm. You know, is it, The deadline's tonight at midnight. So I'm thinking, okay, there's six hours between now and then. So uh -huh. I, there was one song I had you know, already finished that I thought, well, this I think might work. So I submitted it to her. And she's like, sorry, this isn't close enough. You know, we really need something that sounds like this. So by this point, there's about three and a half hours left before midnight. Right. I got nothing else going on that night. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to challenge myself. I'm going to see, can I write a song start to finish, get it mixed, master it myself, and submit it and see if I can get it, you know, forwarded. Right. For, you know, and that's what I did, and sent it to her just before midnight. Fortunately, she was on Pacific time, so I actually had another couple <laughs> hours. But um, she got it. She wrote back, "This is perfect. This is exactly what I'm looking for." And it didn't end up getting anything out of that particular, you know, listing. But that song has now been placed in four other music libraries. Very interesting. So that was a, a complete. I'm going to write to a, a spec yep. today, literally. And you ended up using it uh, several other ways yeah. down the road.